The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the September 24th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question and you can't dial in, Stevie's got your back. Send me an email. Send it off to steve at tfnn.com. And inside that subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our tiger stem, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Well, we're beginning our morning here with a mixed bag. You got the Dow up 110 points. S&P is down just slightly. NASDAQ's up 10. Russell's down a point. Semis are up 23. Tranny's up 198. Gold's up 18. Silver's up 77 cents. Lights recruit up a buck 13. Natural gas up two cents. 30 Treasury print out 124.27. Our leaders in the clubhouse to the upside, dollar wise, are Liberty Broadband Corp up about 15 bucks. Caterpillar up 14. Netflix up 11. Domino's Pizza up 10. Alta Beauty up 10 as well. The uh, shakers to the downside, led by Regenerate Pharmaceuticals, off 43 bucks, followed by AutoZone at 31. McKesson with 21. Light and Wonder off 20 bucks as well. And Costco's down 13 buckaroonies. So we got movers and we've got shakers. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. Let's begin by taking to look at the equity markets out here and try to get a feel for what they're communicating to you and I. Let's first start our day by taking a look at that New York Stock Exchange, that advanced decline oscillator. Well, you can take a look at the advanced decline line. The advanced decline line right now is 588, 588, 8. It's at a, a new all-time high. Uh, uh, yeah, it's at a new all-time high today. But that doesn't matter. We use that advanced decline data to generate an oscillator. An oscillator is the difference between two things. In this case here, it's a difference between the 39 and 19 period exponential moving average. That's rocket science, folks. And here we can see that that oscillator is above that red. That's panel number three is above that red zero level, that threshold level. When price is above that, that tells us that buyers are the ones that have the edge out there. Spot VIX index is trading below the bottom of its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50-day is at 1722. We're putting it off at 1594. It looks to me like price wants to go target that lower Bollinger Band. That Bollinger Band is calculated using a 50 to 1 setting, 1409. If price, in fact, is going to do that, we should see the ES Mini rally. So those are two charts that we want to pay attention to there. Let's go ahead and move over to those white background charts and see what we can find there. So give me a moment here. We're going to have to change. First, is going to show up with pin duo duo on there. Those are those are the charts we will eventually look at. But we're going to begin our day looking at the daily equity future contract. So let's go ahead and open up each one individually. That way you'll have a better feel. So the ES Mini, if we were to close, so first of all, Right now, the key level to be watching today is not this A to B equals CD pattern I've drawn in there, but whether or not price is able to poke its head above the high from September 19th. The high there was 57.9750. One tick would take us to 57.9775. If, in fact, that unfolds today, that will trigger a TD9 count top. If that's a pattern that unfolds, that would suggest a, re a retracement back towards support. And support here is the top of that daily profile, and that's at the 57.26 level. 
Perfect. So that's the first option. The second option is price does not get up to take out and uh, tick one and generate a move one tick above that high from the 19th out there. If that happens, you'll still still see a TD nine count pattern. In fact, that went ahead and formed yesterday. But we won't have is the topping signal information. In other words, the high needs to take place in bars eight nine or the bar following nine. So that would then say. Okay, we're in bullish mode out here. Other than price dealing with resistance, the T9 count breakdown area, 57.81. And really, price got to clear that for this to say that we are not at a top out here. Oftentimes, it's simply getting back to where price broke down. So we have to be on caution signal there until price clears that level. But let's assume that we don't get the TD9 count confirmed top today with regard to the actual topping pattern. Then, if price is able to close above the uh, swing point from... Still, we we'll use that swing point as a resistance level. That's going to be that 57.9750. If we do that, then we're going to have an A to B equals CD pattern with initial price projection in the 6009 level. So that's what's going on with the ES mini for its daily time frame. Let's take a look at the NQ. We take a look at the NQ out here. What do we have? We have three sideways bars, small bodied bars out there. A price is dealing with its TD9 count top. The TD9 count top uh, came in at the high of August 22nd. That high is 2251 and a quarter. If price is able to close above that level, that pattern will get negated, and that will then trigger an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. Now, without actually drawing in the A to B equals CD pattern, what we can say is that the upside resistance level will be a 21237.75. We don't have that signal just yet this top is still in place out here markets could still turn down from here if they do turn down the first level of support inside the nq is down at 19764 ish if we take a look at the dow the dow is going to go ahead and confirm the td9 count top uh, did not do it yesterday. It is completing a TD9 count top today. Why? Because it's been able to poke its head above the high from September 19th, bar number seven, that high 42,583. So we're going to go ahead and complete a TD9 count top today, no matter what, with regard to the Dow. Now, the cool thing about this pattern here, with regard to how are the equity markets going to trade, if in fact tomorrow, whatever today's high is, price closes above that, that'll tell us about a strong upward momentum move in the indices, certainly inside the Dow, and that would suggest that we had a high. Um, whereas, if we don't take out today's high, whatever that is, it suggests at least a retracement back to support. And where is support? It'd be down at the 42216 level. That'd be the top of its profile, as well as basically where the oscillator and change line would likely be trading. If we take a look at the final uh, equity future contract, that'd be the Russell 2000. So what do we have out here? And Stevie would say we don't have much. What do you mean we don't have much? Well, we, we actually have is an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. Its initial price projection will get us up towards the 2331 level. But at the same time, this did form a new profile yesterday. Resistance at 2286.60. Support down at the 2194.30 level out there. Price is pulling back towards this oscillator and change line. I'm just simply going to, right for now, just, I'm going to try to do this. It wasn't working. There we go. I'm just going to delete the A to B equals CD pattern at the moment here because we're just really trying to understand what's price doing today. And so what we want to watch for is price going to get down and test that oscillator and change line. The oscillator and change line is at the uh, 20 to 25 level. So notice how the oscillator and change line had changed from red to green. Now, if we pull back and we test that and reject that, that would be a bullish signal. And that would at least suggest to run up to 2286.60, the top of its daily profile. Steve Rhodes with TFNM. We get back. Let's start fielding some requests that have come in. The first one will be SLB, XPEV, FXI, and PIN Duo Duo, oh, followed by Southern Copper. Be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. 
Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're going to start off taking a look at the uh, stock charts here for Slumber's Day. SLB is the uh, ticker symbol. This is for Joe D. Inside the Tiger's Den. Joe, I'm going to start off on the right hand side, start with the monthly uh, time frame chart here. And what we can see is last month price closed below the bottom of its bullish structured monthly profile. We're still trading below that level right now. If price does remain below 44.67 come next Monday out there, that's going to suggest that we're likely going to see lower price. So that's its message. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart out here, let me just open this up just a tad. Um, was there an A to B equals CD pattern that completed to the downside? I don't know the answer to that. Shoot. I've got some issues with this system out here, so I have to do things a much labored way. I, and I don't really know what's going on with this keyboard of mine. I don't know if it's just a keyboard thing or what it is. But in any event, uh, yeah, I'm just going to draw the A to B line in there, and I'm just going to simply take that over to the C point. So, yeah. So on a weekly basis, just wanted to confirm that. This formed a buy the D point pattern. It did it last week when it generated that uh, bull sash, bull separating candle out here. Now, what Price is doing is trying to get back inside its profile. So, Joe, Price is up against a key level of resistance at 49, I'm sorry, at 43.29. If price can close above 43.29, that would be a positive and suggest a rally up towards 47.36. So, uh, so, so the monthly says I I want lower price. The weekly says, hey, I want to step in here, get in the way of that lower price, which it created that by the D point bottom. So now the question is, can can price get above those resistance levels? Uh, 44.67, I would say, would be the real key area. If we look at the daily time frame, Slumberjay generated a TD9 count bottom. It completed that pattern back on September 11th. And now we are trading above profile resistance at 4228. Uh, it looks to me, Joe, like this wants to head up to 4442. That's a TD9 count breakdown resistance level. We are in bar number seven today. You could form a TD9 count top between tomorrow, Wednesday, and Friday of this week out there. Watch that 4442 level and watch to see whether or not, you know, you got to get a higher high to either tomorrow 
Thursday or Friday in order to generate a potential uh, TD9 count top there. Remember, at the bottom was a TD9 count bottom. No reason to think that the TD9 count top should it form, uh, that it wouldn't uh, work out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at Schlumberger. To me, it looks like it wants higher price out there. And the real question is going to be, can it close about 4467 out there? And that's the monthly bottom of its profile out there. So, Joe, hope that provided you the information you were looking for. If not, you let me know and Stevie will get it. Let's move on to our next request out here. This is coming in from GTE. We'd like to take a look at these Chinese instruments, XPEV out there. We take a look at it. We don't have any kind of a topping pattern. I think the last time we looked at it, we suggested that this had negated a TD9 count top and this wanted higher price, and that is still the case out there. The question is higher price to where? The answer to that is easily addressed by taking a look at the monthly time frame chart. Because the monthly time frame chart has the next clear level of resistance up above, and that's at 1143. So I would suggest that XPEV should go target that 1143 level. It goes above that, then we start to head much higher. Higher to where, Stevie? Well, 1825 is one potential option. That's his TD9 count breakdown level for its weekly time frame. Again, we start looking at these longer term charts, weekly, monthly. When I gave you those numbers, we're not talking about tomorrow. We're talking about over time. But right now, with regard to tomorrow, you should see XPEV continue its rally. Let's move on to that next request that you had, which was to take a look at FXI. So we take a look at the, uh, the uh, uh, chart patterns for FXI, which is the uh, China uh, large cap ETF out here. What you see is that what a nice move we've had. China had some uh, uh, things that it uh, was doing last night uh, um, in weakening the, in any event, oh, providing more liquidity to the market. And boy, you can see that liquidity to FXI, gigantic, ginormous gap to the upside. But today is bar number nine. That says that you should get a top buy uh, at the end of tomorrow out there, and that price should pull back. Now, pro pull back to where? I'm certain although I'm not certain, but I'm pretty certain that a new profile will form um, you know, with the next few days out there, and that would identify its level of support. Right now, I would have to say FXI on a daily basis could pull back to 26.99. Now, I'm not saying that, even though I said that, uh, but that would be what the technical pattern would express. If we look at the weekly time frame, price is taking on a swing point. That swing point was from May 17th. That swing point on a weekly basis in volume of 237 million shares. Right now, we are at 85 million shares. So you want to watch that at week's end. If we take that out, that would trigger a much larger A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. We won't go there right now. We don't really need to, but that's what you would be looking for. On a monthly time frame, price is trying to get above the center of its profile, 29.25. Uh, its next area of resistance would be up at about the 30.54 level, so take this one step at a time. It's the daily chart that you really want to watch out there. Does this form? Well, it will form a TD9 count. It will complete that pattern tomorrow. Does price start trading above that high? If it does, then it tells you about a very strong upward momentum move inside of FXI. Let's go on to our next request, coming in from inside the Tiger's Den, and this is from Rahul. And we take a look at this. Rahul would like to take a look at Pin Duo Duo. Well, Pin Duo Duo negated its TD9 count top in one single day. Yesterday was that uh, TD9 count top was the bar following bar number nine. Obviously, this gap to the upside. What this communicates to you and I, Rahul, is that this is a strong upward momentum move for its daily time frame. Now it's inside this gap, it was a gigantic gap. It gapped down with volume of 103 million shares as an example on a daily basis. As an example, we're up with 15 million shares today in two hours of trading. So nowhere near that volume doesn't mean that it can't continue to rally. In fact, it should continue to rally. So where's this gonna target? Well, the first target, I know most people would wanna go to take a look at the top of the gap. By the way, on a daily basis, the top of the gap is at 138.14. Maybe it'll get up there, but right now we've gotta look at is where are the resistance levels. Well, the first resistance level or the next resistance level for Pin Duo Duo is 117.33. And 117.33 is the top of the monthly profile. Above that, you've got 120.49-ish, although that number is going to change because as price moves up and down, that will move up and down. But it's in the 120-ish area. That is the weekly oscillator and change line. Above that, then we probably get in towards filling that gap out there. So uh, that's what I see when I take a look at Pin Duo Duo. I hope you're in that and uh, because this is looking pretty darn nice. Let's go take a look at Southern Copper and Copper for Mr. Bill inside the Tiger's Den. We start off by taking a look at, what should we start take a look at? Let's do this here. Let's go and take a look at the copper charts first. So let's uh, get all the way down there. We'll take a look at the copper futures charts here momentarily. We'll have those up on our screen if Stevie can actually get, there we go. 
So now we're gonna here we've got monthly, weekly, daily, and some intraday time periods. So let's start with the monthly chart. Monthly chart had a road momentum indicator top. It did its job by getting back to support, testing, and rejecting support, and that was at four dollars and one cents out there. Now we're trading above the green oscillator and change line. The monthly chart says it wants to target its sell zone between four fifty six and four seventy. The weekly time frame chart has need to be equal CD to the upside. We're above profile resistance, suggest a further rally. The uh, daily time frame chart. Formed a TD9 count, completed a TD9 count top two days ago. We are now trading above that. Price to go target is TD9 count breakdown level 4.60 out there. On an intraday basis, the only pattern worth paying attention to, I would say, might be the two hour and four hour charts. They're in bar number eight right now. The two hour chart is going to complete bar number eight at 12 noon. So by, um, it's going to be bar eight. By four o'clock, you could get a short term top. We're in bar number eight right now on the 240. That doesn't complete until 2 p.m. We come back to this break. Let's go take a look at Southern Copper. We also have a request to take a look at FCX. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. That's all the requests I've got. So please send them in by email or give us a call. We're inside the Tiger Stand. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry August 9th and 23rd for more live trading action. For this month only, use code LARRYOG24 at checkout to save $50 off your first month as a subscriber to Live Trading Fridays for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LARRYOG24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, did we take a look at copper? I close it down. I think we did. I hope we did. Um, in any event out here, if we didn't, uh, tell, tell, let me know, Mr. Bill, um, if, if we if we didn't cover copper. I think we did. So let's go on to SCCO out here. We did. Perfect. Thanks. Uh, so when we take a look at SCCO, we see that uh, bar number nine is going to go ahead and form today. This suggests on a daily time frame that we should get some type of top uh, today or tomorrow out there. Uh, that should take us back to support. Again, kind of like we took a look at, maybe it was F. XI or something, likely what we would see is some kind of new profile form, and that would be the actual support level where price would pull back to. But we don't have that right now. I would have to say if price were to pull back, the support level I'd be looking at would probably be the 107.72 to 110.53, and that's coming from our weekly chart. We are now trading above the top of its bear structured profile out there. So perhaps that would become the support level. On the monthly chart, we're trading above green asset and change line, above all profile levels. So that is very bullish. But the daily time frame for Southern Copper is still going to go ahead and form a TD and account top today, complete that pattern tomorrow. That should lead to some kind of retracement. But whatever the high is tomorrow, if price closes above that, like we saw with Pin Duo Duo, that would tell us about a strong upward momentum to move to the upside, you would most certainly want to be long there. So that's what we see. We take a look at Southern Copper daily, weekly, and monthly. Let's go see what we've got if we take a look at FCX. Interestingly enough, another copper-oriented uh, chart out here. Now, when we take a look at FCX, we're going to see that this also is going to form bar number nine today. That says that we should see a top today or tomorrow. Again, price should pull back to support. The support levels I have out here are between 45.29 and 46.81. 45.29 is the top of its profile on a daily time frame. 46.81 is the top of the weekly profile. So FCX suggests that we should get a um, we should get a uh, uh, a short term top between today and tomorrow out there. The weekly chart full bullish mode out there. So once the daily is able to test support out there, likely FCX will continue to move to the upside. But what do we know about FCX? Well, what we know about FCX, and let's just prove it, we're going to switch panels out here. I'm going to switch panels momentarily. And and I love to do this because when we trade FCX, what we're really trading is the Australian dollar. Let me prove that to you. We're going to change our screens out here. We're going to go to the black background screens, the bottom of which is FCX, the top of which is the Australian dollar out there. So we can see that this is so very directionally correlated out here. We can see that we're rallying today in FCX. We are rallying in terms of the Australian dollar. But what does that really mean out there? If I didn't use profile levels, if I didn't use a TD9 count system out here or some of the other tools that we have, I would just assume and I would tell you this is simply going to break out. But that's at odds with what we looked at at FCX. Well, what's the Australian dollar doing? Excellent question. And you know, Stevie's got your back. That means we've got it covered. Let's go over and take a look at those charts. And for that, we're going to go take those white background charts. And here's the Australian dollar, daily, weekly, and monthly. Monthly, uh, the weekly chart you can see is taking on a TD9 count top. A TD9 count top on a weekly basis, December 29th of 2023. The high there is 0 0.6871. So that's a level you'd be watching. We are testing that area. I don't think we've gotten up to it, have we? We have. In fact, we're trading above that level just right now. So that's an area that is being tested. At the same time, we took a look at copper. We took a look at southern copper. We took a look at FCX. Each of them had a TD9 count pattern that was forming today. Turns out, so too is the Australian dollar. Interesting, isn't it? The things, these things are correlated. So you want to be paying attention to the Australian dollar if you are trading FCX. So this says that you're going to get a TD9 count pattern that will confirm today, complete tomorrow. Price should pull back to support. Support here would either be a 0.68 or 0 0.679. 0 0.68 is the TD9 count breakdown resistance level. But we are now above for the second session. 0 0.67939, uh, 93, yeah, 939 would be its oscillator and change line. Monthly chart looks pretty good too, but the weekly, watch the weekly because what happens? You know, if we close back the week below that TD9 count top on the weekly basis, so well, resistance will have held there. Um, and uh, add to the idea that we most certainly should see a pullback. So all that copper stuff looks muy bueno. Looks really good out there. And the question is, which I don't know, is will these TD9 count tops hold? So you're going to want to watch those. What you do if you're long these positions here, you know, you do some adjustments. You you put in a trailing stop of sort. You can take a look at the 10-day uh, average true range 
Um, you know, and you want to be below that on a stop by, because if we're inside it, then just close it out today as an example, because that's just a normal price movement, if you will, an average 10 day range out there. So that's what's going on. We take a look at those uh, instruments. Hope that helps everybody out. Uh, Pat S wrote in and Pat would like to take it Goldilocks. And uh, uh, we took a look at silver, right? I think we did that. Yeah. Uh, let's go take it. We'll, in any event, we'll be able to take both gold and silver here when we switch to this screen. And uh, the question is, uh, Pat would like to purchase gold, add gold on a pullback. And the question is, is there a pullback coming? Well, it turns out we take a look across the board here. I'd have to say the answer to that, because of today's rally in silver, eh, we should be prepared for some type of retracement inside of metals. Why is that, Steve-O? Well, we are in bar number nine of a TD9 count of the daily gold contract as we speak right now. That says we should see a top form between today and tomorrow. Again, same uh, rules here. We want to also monitor whatever the high of the pattern is because of price takes that out, tells about a strong upward momentum move. But at this moment in time, it would suggest that price would pull back to the 26, 28-ish level out there, Pat. If we take a look at silver, silver was able to get above that bar number seven, similar to what we're looking for potentially inside the ES Mini. And that uh, high out there was at 31.75. We're above that right now. This is going to go ahead and confirm a TD9 count top today, complete that pattern tomorrow as price approaches the TD9 count breakdown resistance level. And that's at the 32.11 area. So that's your resistance. You're going to get a daily top in silver. And we take a look at the GDX out there. This is just an added benefit out there. Well, what did we get yesterday? We got a three drive to a top. What do you mean, Steve? We've got the equal time frames here between the high from July 17th to the high of uh, August 20th. And if you take a look at that time frame, that actually would form a, uh, a uh, an equal a number of uh, trading days today, September 24th. Well, I say it was a three drive top to yesterday because we got a bearish shooting star candle out there. With those three drives, what you love to see for confirmation is some type of bearish reversal candle. So you got a daily TD9 count top in gold, a daily TD9 count in silver. And when it comes to the GDX, we have a uh, three drive to a top. Now, if price closes above yesterday's high, yesterday's high was 41.39, that three drive to a top in Stevie's uh, um, a way of, uh, of uh, charting goes away because you would have closed above the top of a bearish reversal candle out there. So that's what's going on. The answer to your question, Pat, is are any pullbacks coming? The answer to that question is likely yes. Stevie, what do you mean likely yes out there? Well, I mean likely yet less. When we come back from this break here, we're going to break in about four seconds or so. I will answer that question. Why likely yes? We're also going to take a look at, we come back to this break, we'll take a look at the SMHs, and we'll take a look at MSOS. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A 
former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member. Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. So we know we got some TD9 count topping patterns, three drive to a top patterns inside the GDX, but uh, TD9 count tops inside of gold and silver. And they're suggesting that we should pull back out here. However, there's a caveat. And that caveat, if you're looking at this set of charts here, this uh, this is uh, gold priced in all of the Middle Eastern countries out there that are involved with, uh, you know, what's really going on. And you can see that we're at new all-time highs today. Those folks are buyers out there. They're absolute buys. We're at new all-time highs in every single one of those currencies. We know that gold moves during geopolitical uh, um, uh, time frames out there, and we're certainly in one of those. And I don't sense things cooling down anytime soon. Maybe you do. I don't sense that. And if we take a look at gold priced in other major currencies, U.S. dollar were at a new all-time high. Euros were at a new all-time high. Uh, Great British pounds a new all-time high today. Canadian loonies a new all-time high today. Uh, Chinese yuan a new all-time high today. Actually, I think even in Australian dollars. Let me just see what today's. Oh, I don't have the uh, I don't have my data, man. Uh, my data, but it looks like today we're also at a new all time or very close to that in Australian dollars. So guess what? Those folks are all buyers out there, and that's what could stop Goldilocks from really pulling back. The best bull markets in any instrument is when they're all moving higher in certainly all major currencies here. But we needed to see what was going on inside the Middle East to really get a feel for a Goldilocks and what it is doing there. So that's the caveat. Um, if you are in those instruments, I wouldn't sell, but I mean, you got to do whatever you want to do. I instead would have some kind of stops in place out there. So I hope that helps you out with regard to an overview of what's going on inside of Goldilocks. Let's go take a look at the SMHs for Ron inside the Tiger's Den. We're going to switch our screens here momentarily. We'll get back to those white background screens. And I believe it was just the daily or weekly time frames that Ron wanted to take a look at. So in regard to the SMHs, what do we know here? Well, if price can take out uh, the high from September 19th, we're trading into that now, that high uh, September 19th had 11.2 million shares. Today we're into it with 2.2. We're moving into that swing point with light volume. But nonetheless, Ron, we're trading above resistance areas. If price is able to take that out, that means it closed above 243.85. Even with lighter volume, you will trigger an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. We're not there yet, but it looks like that high wants to get tested. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, What's price doing? Well, if we can get above last week's high, we should go target the 251.29 level. What is last week's high? Last week's high came in at 243.85. If we take a look at the, uh, let me do this here. I don't know why that didn't load properly. 
but it didn't. We take a look at the monthly time frame chart. The monthly time frame chart formed a TD9 count and a Roads Momentum Indicator top. And price did its do well. It, it did its duty by pulling back and testing support. In this case here, support has been that green oscillator and change line at 231.23. So the test of the downside is done. That would suggest that we should move to the upside. Why? If Tom quoted, I got to give him a dollar for this. If you don't bust them to the downside, price will try to bust them to the upside. So it does look like to me the SMHs are suggesting to you and I that they want to head to higher price. So Ron, I hope that helps you out. Now the question is, what are the semis doing out here? because there's a different set of instruments. And I don't know the answer to that, that make that up. But the question is, what is the actual SOX index doing here? So let's be thorough, Ron, and let's go take a look at that. Maybe it's the same pattern, but maybe it's not. And I don't know the answer to that question. I should know the answer to that question, but we're going to find out here momentarily. We can see the same pattern. Yep. So nothing has changed there with regard to the uh, semis out there. So, yeah, the SMHs are suggesting that they're going to move higher. So then I pose this question to you, folks. If the SMHs are going to move higher, how likely is it that we're going to get a any kind of significant top inside of the uh, U.S. markets out there? Well, that's a question for you to answer. I would say not too likely. Let's go to our next request out here. This is for Rose inside the Tiger's Den. And Rose would like to take like, a ticker symbol, MSOS, I believe it is. So let's get over to that. Give me a moment here. That is the... A pure cannabis ETF out there. Okay, hadn't heard of that one, but we're going to go see what this is doing, get a feel for it. This is called Advisor Shares Trust Pure U.S. Cannabis. So we take a look at it. What's it doing? Right now, it's trying to take out a swing point on a daily basis for the trading session of September 9th, Rose. That uh, trading session had volume of 17 million shares. The high out there was 724. We're trading above that. What kind of volume do we have today? We've got 4 million shares. That says we're maybe about 12 or so, 12, 13 million shares going into 17. Doesn't matter. If we close above that high, again, that high, let me give it to you once more, 724, that will trigger an A to B equals CD pattern the upside. Now, this formed a TD9 count bottom. Uh, shoot, I got to still do this again. Dang it. Give me a moment here. Let me get my, my line tool out here. Let's draw the A to B pattern out here. Let's just shift this over to that uh, C point which is going to be the lowest low after that B point that came in right here. And that would get us up towards the 790 area. Now, you do have resistance rows at 758. That is a TD9 count breakdown resistance. So as price approaches that, just simply put on your seatbelt because it could get a little bit turbulent. If you look at the weekly time frame chart, I don't see any kind of a bottom. Well, with the exception that price pulled back to its breakout level of 642. So that alone can be a bottom. Now, the question for you is, is this move a rally? the beginning of a rally or a counter trend move that's going to be answered by that weekly time frame chart and the reason why the weekly chart will answer that question for you is because this is traded below the bottom of its weekly bullish structured profile for over a month out there and that says if it's just a counter trend move price will find resistance really at 760. Of course, it would be between the bottom at 724 and 760. So that's the area for you to be paying attention to. Of course, if you're long and strong, what you're really looking for is a close above 760 on a weekly time frame. If you get that, then you'll head up towards that 833 level, maybe even 1073. So on a daily basis time frame right now, you're going to, looks like you're going to trigger an A to B equal CD pattern to the upside at price to go target 758. From number of days moves to the upside out here, if we take a look at its stand steps, We'll pull this over here momentarily, and we take a look at MSOS. We can see that uh, it's only going to be bar number two to the upside. Uh, we have seen even during this rally here where bar number two has led to a decline out there. So, But otherwise, it looks really pretty good. So hope that helped you out there, Rose, with regard to MSOS. Uh, Brett wrote in, and he would like to take a look at ticker symbol GSM. So let's get over to that. I just, well, I don't have that up. Let's go ahead and put that in, GSM. And while that's being put in the system, let me actually read what Brent is looking for. He says, I'd like an analysis of GSM and you. I'm long both. Both are for longer term holds. Have a great day. You too, Brent. So we take a look at GSM. GSM right now formed a Roadsman to indicator bottom pattern out there. That's probably one of the things that triggered Brent into that uh, trade out here. That formed on September 11th, and now price is trading above the top of its profile. So you may get a change in trend out here. You'd like to see two close above 436. I say change in trend. I mean a change in profile uh, trend out there. So that would be a uh, that, that would be another bullish move out there. Your next upward momentum move should take us up towards 
towards 461. And 461 is the oscillator and change line, Brent, on a weekly time frame. Resistance on a monthly time frame is going to be 507. That is the bottom of its monthly profile. So you got a nice move here going on with price taking out resistance. We should continue to move higher. I would think 461 would be the price target out there. Um, and I'm, that's coming from the monthly time frame chart. Let's go take a look at your second request, which was ticker symbol U. So let's go figure out what this instrument is doing here. Now, Brent, it looks like we're going to have to do that. We come back to this break out there. That's Unity Software. Real quickly here, let's see if we've got any kind of signal at the high. Today is going to, no, we negated a TD9 count top yesterday. That is a beautiful thing. See Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Hey, welcome back, folks. Uh, just a, uh, a note here. Tomorrow morning, I'll be recording today's show between 8 and 9 a.m. Uh, so uh, I, I suggest that you join me. We'll take a look at what the futures are doing. I'll focus on that. I'll try to make it as pertinent of a show as I can for you. For the uh, 11 to 12 hour, it will be replayed. Uh, but uh, please join me early tomorrow morning for the uh, Trader's Ed show. We take a look back to Unity Software out here. So it negated its TD9 count uh, top yesterday. Uh, that's a beautiful thing. Now, what price has also done, it's rallied right up into the next resistance.
resistance level. And that's at 22.16, Brent. So if price can close above 22.16, you should be on your way to 35, uh, sorry, 25.59. 25.59 is the uh, TD knockout breakdown resistance area for the weekly time frame chart, which is where price should target your trade and above. You got a profile a change in trend signal out there on a weekly basis, so that's good. You also have potential resistance at 27.78. That is the bottom of its monthly profile. So everything looks good except that 2216 level. You'd really like to see price close above that. Doesn't necessarily have to be today, but you are at a place where resistance is where things have broken down and you could be pulling back. Let's go on and take a look at our last request out there. This is for um, Dan from New York. Uh, I want to take a look at TGB to Seiko Mines. So TGB is going to go ahead and confirm, this is no surprise out here, a TD nine count top today. It will complete that pattern tomorrow. The weekly chart looks very good and that is trading above its oscillator and change line. That's what we would use as the first level of support on any kind of retracement. Currently printed at 237. 228 happens to be the TD nine count breakdown resistance level on the daily time frame. That too would be a potential level of support on a pullback. On a monthly time frame, uh, you had a Rhodesman to indicator top, price test and rejected profile support. It's moved to the downside, is done. 195, you can't bust them to the downside, you try to bust them to the upside. The problem is that you're going to get a TD9 count top that's going to confirm today and complete tomorrow. So just prepare for a potential pullback out there. Don't forget, folks. Uh, we talked about it. We looked at it. You've got gold trading higher in most major currencies and every Middle Eastern currency out there. And maybe we're not going to see much of a pullback of any. Maybe we're just simply going to see a little bit of a sideways move. Folks, thanks for joining me here. Please uh, join me again tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. sharp. If not, you can catch the archive that we replayed between 11 and 12. Have a terrific Tuesday. Be safe out there. And I'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.